What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA SAG. And on today's video guys, I will show you the latest news directly related to our story. I will show you again a lot of questions uh, that uh, we have right now because of the most recent actions from some of uh, the community members. On top of that, uh, I will show you a couple of uh, call to actions that might be really important for the community. And at the end of this video, I will share my personal story. And uh, I highly suggest you to watch this video till the very end, because it is very important for me personally. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, guys, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm, because it is the easiest way how we can push uh, this video forward to the broader audience. And the more people know about our saga, the more chances we have for to solve it in our favor. So, that is why just hit the like button. And let's start with this news. Uh, you know that uh, just yesterday I showed you uh, the press release from Next Bridge Hydrocarbons uh, where they acquired uh, new prospects and uh, they basically sold already sold uh, a part of uh, these prospects. And here's uh, the question that I uh, asked yesterday and uh, this question uh, was uh, asked as well by sidestep uh, 423 and uh, let me quote to this somebody explain this to me february the 5th 2024 an next bridge hydrocarbon markets uh, the valentine uh, prospect at nape april the 1st uh, 2024 uh, next bridge hydrocarbon issues 2.5 million shares to acquire this prospect from john burda wildcat spv why was MMTLP and Next Bridge Hydrocarbons spending shareholders' money to market Burda's personally owned property? And here is the promotional brochure that uh, was made for NAEP 2024 with the Valentine Prospect Overview. And uh, as you can see, the main contact uh, in this brochure is Greg McCabe. And guys, I still have a lot of questions uh, about uh, this prospect and about uh, the result of uh, this acquisition and sell. Why did it happen and uh, what is the main reason of this activity? Does it lead uh, to the uh, improvement of intrinsic value of next bridge hydrocarbons or not? Or is this uh, just a part uh, of uh, their uh, so-called uh, cash-out process uh, when they try to uh, collect more money to operate. And uh, you know that just a couple of days ago, basically yesterday or the day before yesterday, they issued another uh, statement uh, with SEC, they filed this uh, letter, and uh, they postponed uh, their earnings report for at least for about 15 days. And uh, we don't know the current financial situation on NextBridge Hydrocarbons. That is why potentially this is the reason or one of the reasons why they postponed it and why they have for uh, this uh, type of weird activity. So, and let me show you that John Burda didn't tell anything in his uh, Twitter account. Uh, he basically keeps silence uh, and uh, basically I don't know why, but in my opinion it is the blind spot in his current activity. And uh, I think uh, we deserve to know what is happening right now and why did he do it. On top of that, guys, don't you think that uh, potentially it might be the puzzles, uh, the pieces of one huge puzzle and uh, another part of this puzzle is this uh, uh, Form 8K that was filed on July the 20th. And uh, as you can see, let me go to this. On July 20th, 2023, the enforcement staff of the Securities and Exchange Commission provided meta materials uh, a former chief executive officer of the company john burda and the company's uh, chief executive officer uh, george palikaras with wells notice relating to a previously disclosed sec investigation into among other things uh, the merger involving uh, torchlight energy resources and meta materials so we know that uh, this wells notice was uh, made because of uh, the merger between uh, torchlight energy and meta materials but here, here is the phrase, among other things. What are these things about? We don't know. And uh, potentially, uh, this might be the reason why John Burda and uh, George Palagros keep silence on this topic. And uh, I think we deserve some answers. So, 
let's uh, move forward. You know that just recently Don Fees and his team were in Washington DC where they made uh, a lot of meetings with Congress members, uh, almost 100 meetings uh, during just a couple of weeks. And Don Fees uh, basically promoted our case and uh, he tried to solve our problem uh, via congressional efforts. And uh, let me show you that just recently. Uh, let me quote you this news that was published on MMTLP resources. Uh, we basically have another call to action. Let me quote to this. Richie has given us uh, the ask that uh, we should all focus on for the coming weeks. Can you make the call? In a brief unrecorded space call today, Richie Don Fees gave a recap of his nine months of DC legwork. He also gave us uh, his recommendation for how we can help. And it's really just one phone call. Let me quote to this tweet that was made by Crucial Mix. The ask. Call your congressman's office, yours, not others, and ask your representative to contact James Connors' office to express support for an MMTLP congressional hearing. Thanks, Richie, for your and everyone's efforts. There are 47 working days uh, on the calendar. And uh, let me go to further. Please reach to your representative uh, with the ask to support congressional hearing on MMTLP. And guys, I think it is another uh, way how we can... Uh, uh, enforce our case and how we can uh, push it forward. Definitely, hearings is not the subpoena, but potentially it is an intermediate uh, step that should be passed in order to lead uh, to the subpoena itself. And uh, every action that uh, might be successful should be made immediately. And this is one of these actions. So, let me show you that uh, Dr. E, in response uh, to this call to action, uh, wrote several tweets. First of all, 18 hours ago he wrote this. Send to all four of my reps this M. A worthless shot. It's been almost 500 days since I'm just U3 halt of an MTLP. 65,000 uh, shareholders, 5,000 veterans and billions stolen. Can you release email or call Representative Connor and Representative Norman offices to request? He also added this, uh, which he said uh, any chair of any committee or subcommittee. It means uh, who can you contact to. Uh, let's approach the 82 reps that are veterans. We have nearly 5000 vets uh, that are captured in this stock hall. Uh, here is the vet list. He put it, uh, the link to the list and uh, hearing ask. Again, the link to this ask. And uh, he did it 10 hours ago, back at it. We'll do 10 to 20 more tomorrow and the next few days until done. So guys, it is quite easy step uh, that uh, we as um, community members can perform and these actions might definitely lead to some kind of results. And the major result uh, definitely should be the resolution. But uh, we have uh, to take one step at a time in order to push this case forward slowly but surely and this is one of these uh, actions so let me show you again uh, uh, the result uh, of uh, my yesterday's video and uh, you know that uh, yesterday i showed you this uh, so-called conflict between uh, mark basil and uh, meta guy murdoch about uh, the report that uh, was uh, made uh, back in the days and uh, for now this report is on MMIT table and we don't know the result of uh, the result that uh, is in this report. And uh, George Palikers also responded uh, to this uh, tweet and for now Mark Basil said Thank you George, uh, lots of intentional misdirection and fat going on in this community. Glad to confirm that I had stated uh, and yes, Wes is the guy for the job and I know he wants to move on it. And uh, he is talking about uh, the uh, West Christian involvement in this process and uh, you know that uh, just yesterday I showed you that uh, Meta Materials potentially asked him to step down uh, in, order to, in order not to push uh, this case forward but uh, Wes wrote uh, in response in some of uh, his uh, email he wrote that uh, it is uh, not the case and he is still working on this, uh, uh, on our case. On top of that, guys, let me show you that uh, uh, George Palikaros is not the person and it is also a direct speech from Mark Basile. George Palikaros is not the person to ask what's in the report. It's MMIT and it's board. However, I'm sure George can share that information 
with his attorneys for any legitimate legal purpose. And I have to admit that uh, uh, for now a lot of people uh, who might be uh, useful for the community, who might lead to the resolution, they have a lot of uh, NDAs uh, from uh, uh, Nextbridge Hydrocarbons uh, like Greg McCabe uh, or from uh, Torchlight Energy, from other lawsuits. Uh, and that is why we cannot collect the entire uh, set of information that potentially might lead to the resolution. But guys, everything might be solved uh, in uh, the litigation processes. And that is why, as you can see, Mark Basile wrote. However, I'm sure George can share that information with his attorneys for any legitimate legal purpose. And uh, yes, I think uh, we have uh, to push this case forward, uh, not only through the Congress, but also through litigations. And Mark Bastille, one of these persons uh, who might help us to do it. And it doesn't matter do you like him or not, he is the person who might help us with this case. On top of that, uh, let me show you this tweet uh, again in response uh, to the conflict in between uh, Mark Bastille and uh, Michael Guy Murdoch. Uh, Mark wrote, uh, Murdoch was just embarrassed by George himself. George completely acknowledged uh, what I had said and gave a few reasons why it's very likely Wes was told to stand down. That's what minions do in uh, this community. They lie and uh, then double down. And if enough minions follow up and keep repeating it, other people start believing their BS. They learn to ask questions a certain way to elicit the responses they need to go out and try to discredit people. So, yes, uh, inside our community there is a lot of uh, misunderstandings and misconceptions. Some people uh, think that uh, the only way how we can solve it is two days of trading, and uh, I think it is the least probable way of solution. And other people think that uh, the only possible way is the subpoena and uh, the Congress actions. And uh, the third uh, part of our community thinks that uh, it might be a litigation process. And guys, I think uh, we have uh, to uh, do everything that we can do in order to push it forward. And definitely the uh, two most prominent ways uh, to solve it is uh, the uh, subpoena way and uh, litigation way as well. So let's, uh, let me show you another call to action. Syntax Queen of the Metaverse reposted uh, this uh, uh, tweet that was written uh, yesterday by George Palikras, and she wrote, All MMT shareholders should read this thread and ask Metamaterial Board of Directors what's going on with legal actions using Wes Christian. And uh, yes, uh, we have to know it, because Wes Christian was hired by Metamaterials. On top of that, Wes Christian was hired by John Burda, uh, back uh, in uh, uh, January of uh, 2023, and uh, he was hired by John Burda and uh, three other TRCH uh, OG shareholders. They uh, established a new company, Flamethrower, and this Flamethrower uh, was established in order to uh, uh, do an investigation in MMTLP case. But since uh, then, since uh, the uh, basically for more than one year, we don't know any results uh, from Flamethrower. And we didn't even know whether Wes Christian is still working for uh, Flamethrower or not. And guys, I think uh, we deserve uh, these answers and I think uh, we have to know it. And that is why, guys, I think uh, Syntax Queen of the Metaverse uh, wrote a very uh, legitimate tweet that we have to ask board of directors. But remember, Board of Directors of uh, Meta Materials uh, might rely on the Wells notice that was uh, made, as uh, uh, I already read to you, back uh, in June of 2023. And that is why we might not have any results from this standpoint. But we have to try. Every possible way how we can solve this problem should be used uh, by our community. And uh, I think, uh, yes, uh, it is tough times for us but we have uh, to solve this problem. And guys, let me tell you my personal story. I have a wife and two children aged 11 and uh, 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. 
Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MMTLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap, only got one team